Police retraced Nassim Agdam's whereabouts hours before she carried out a shooting spree at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno. She was at the, uh, the, the gun range early uh, the morning of the incident. Police say Agdam shot three people at lunchtime, then took her own life. YouTube remains closed today as investigators gather evidence. I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube. And I'm not the only one. Forensic experts are poring over Agdam's social media profiles for clues, but they believe they may have a possible motive. It is believed that the suspect was upset with policies and practices of YouTube. Investigators say they know how the shooter gained access to the building. The suspect is believed to have parked her vehicle to the rear of a neighboring business and accessed the campus via a parking garage. We just have to figure out. Um, where the area that she entered, what level of security existed at that at that point. One victim was found at the building's front entrance. The other two managed to escape to nearby restaurants. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for the those people shot. Hopefully, they've been alive. The shooter's father says he warned police that she was upset with YouTube and afraid of what might happen. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, San Bruno, California.